Subways, Billy and Charlotte, it's a pleasure to meet you again. Thank Good you. to see you. Great show at Dingwalls last week. Did uh, you both enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Dingwalls was a really special show for us. Um, yeah. We like we're always a bit nervous for London shows because we tend to know a lot of people in the crowd. Um, yeah. So. We always just want it to go really, really well. Um, but the the audience were amazing. It's so nice to see so many of our loyal fans who've been around for like ten years now, down the front, and everyone was singing the words to the new songs. As yeah, well, yeah. Which we only released the pre like a few days before, so it was really cool. Well, the temperature was was rising in there yeah. as well. I mean, then you're surfing to the front and back. You know, yeah, you yeah. got it's got to be a good gig when that's uh, that happy that goes along. I mean, how's the the band vibe now? Good. It's um, a lot more relaxed and. Uh, yeah, it's. I, I, I'd say we're all sort of constantly on cloud nine at the moment. Um, every single day we sort of wake up and just remember how lucky we are to be doing this. And with people that we love so much, you know, we're all so close with best mates. And uh, yeah, it's just a huge adventure that we go on every single day. We get to create with each other, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, very soon we'll be going on tour, which for us is just the whole reason why we do this. You know, yeah, getting yeah, on that yeah. Tour bus, getting 100%. off that tour bus, seeing the sights, getting on stage, seeing the faces, seeing the flailing limbs, you know, <laughs> uh, crowd surfing, jumping up and down, and and singing your heart out every single night. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Very lucky. I mean, the last time that um, we saw you, Billy, before for the thing was was uh, Music News 10th birthday That's party right. here's a bottle of champagne again just to say oh, thank you very you. much thank it, you it, so much you just really made that night for us it was so special oh, and uh, thank thanks you. a lot it was a real real treat for well, all of us I had such a wonderful night I met some absolutely amazing people and had some you know old friends down there as well and uh, yeah just an absolute it was just it was one of those nights that just reminds you you know <laughs> again just how lucky you know you are so yeah absolutely amazing Good stuff. I mean, since then you've been finishing the self-titled album. It's usually the first when you do a self-titled yeah. sort of thing, but here's the it's the fourth, and it's either the first or it sort of tends to sum up the band as where they are. This is it. This is what the Subways is all about. Is that what this self-titled album is? Yeah, definitely. With this album, um, Billy um, produced and engineered it himself, yeah. and then um, uh, we've kind of had not a lot of outside influence at all. The only person who's really been involved is uh, our manager who's been with us right from the start. So it really felt like a proper team Subway's effort and everything that's gone along with it has been, we've done everything really. And like, it's a, a fan that's designed the artworks. So it's all kind of yeah, just all yeah. kind of uh, taken in and like everything that Subway's are about. And so we thought like, it's a time to have a self-titled album. Yeah, I mean, how, how, do, how, do, how does it differ to the normal sort of album... Uh... I don't know. With the process. Process, yeah. Yeah, well. well, it was completely different, you know. Um, I think over the years we've been really, really lucky on our three previous records. It, just from the very beginning, you know, Young for Eternity, we had Ian Brody from yeah, the Lightning Seeds exactly. producing and engineering that record and mixing it. And for the second record, we went to Los Angeles to Conway Studios with Butch Fig, who I'd say <laughs> is probably the greatest producer of all time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Stephen Street. Of uh, you know who who made some of the greatest records of all time too, um, you know with the Smiths and, and Blair, uh, and Grand Coxon and Kaiser Chiefs, Cranberries. So yeah, it's you know. But you thought you could do it better than all of them. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know uh, like I I've, I've been saying recently, you know, for the three records previously we've had world class producers, and on this record we've got Welling Garden City class <laughs> <laughs> producer. Um, but I just learned so much over the over the whole whole career so far you know um i produced the or recorded i didn't really produce but i recorded the demos in uh before young fraternity in our parents kitchen yeah yeah um and uh for um young fraternity i was always looking over ian's shoulder going oh dude why are you doing that what's that for <laughs> can i just produce please <laughs> um, and i did that with butcher and i did that with Stephen as well and even with Stephen, when i handed him the demo to sort of just say please please can these songs you know <laughs> can you record this album with this he said you know these these songs sound great man you know you 50 to 75 percent there we just need to maybe get a better drum sound <laughs> um but yeah by the end of the uh recording of money and celebrity i turned to these guys i was like do you know what i think i might be able to do the next record um and they went yeah cool and then they reminded me 
<laughs> the time, it, you know, when it came the uh, time to actually record the record, I was like, oh, crikey. Wow, now I actually have to do it. <laughs> so, you know, we had the equipment there. We had the Pro Tools equipment. Uh, we had the computers. We had the... The microphones, I went out and, and, well, actually, I emailed all the producers. I was like, guys, I really need help. Mm -hmm. What should I use for this, Tom? What should I use for the for the bass cam? Right, yeah, yeah, All yeah, this of sort of stuff. And they really helped out, um, which helps, you know, um, having those amazing producers at the end of an email. Uh, and, yeah, it was a long old process. It was completely different, I'd say, because usually we'd have the 12 songs we'd have the demos and we'd send the demos out mm. we'd have certain producers say yes certain producers say no and then we'd say i like this guy i like this studio let's mm. go over here i like this guy let's have him mix i like this guy let's have him master whereas with this it was like we just built it as it went along i recorded the songs or i you know i brought the songs we you know we, we pretty much produced or orchestrated the songs together as a unit we trusted ourselves enough to to do it ourselves usually yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. be a producer with their own sound with their own way with their own process or formula and they go well, i don't really like that direction you're going down there josh maybe we should try this kind of drunk pattern maybe we should rein it in a bit a bit more here whereas with me i was just like go ahead <laughs> yeah, no, let's do that. Let's go in this direction. Let's see where it takes it, us. It does sound sort of very fresh, very raw. Oh, it cool. feels sort of untamed in a way. So you don't... Very, yeah. Yes, yeah, just there. It yeah. feels real, you know. And that, that's what you were going after, I'm assuming. I think yeah. it was it was, It was. was kind of a little bit accidental and a little bit intent. <laughs> you know, if something worked out, we're like, yeah, we planned that. If it didn't work out, it was like, oh, we were just experimenting. So, um, but you know, that's why... Charlotte, you came up with the idea of, of having it self-titled as the subways for the fourth record because it was like, yeah, we have done this ourselves. And it never really hit me until my mum, on playing back, you know, I only yesterday played her back uh, the last six tracks, and she sort of hugged me and went, I'm so proud of you, boy. <laughs> and I went, wow, yeah, you know, we did this all by ourselves. We can do this. Yeah, no, so the subways, it was, you know... It is done, bought, <laughs> and by the subway. It's fantastic. I mean, yeah, what are your current sort of favourite album tracks for you of the new album? Of the, um, I, I do really like Taking All the Blame, which I think will be a single uh, at some point. Um, there's a song on the, the next six called Is That Enough, which I really like. Um, I think they're, yeah, they're probably my favourites at the moment. Yeah, no, no, you play that a uh, bit. Taking All the Blame live sounded excellent as well. Oh, thanks. And um, yeah, what about yourself? Uh, I've got a uh, dirty muddy paws, which yeah, is yeah, I, I really like that. I, 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 that would sound really good live. I think that sounds yeah, like a good one. Really wanted to play that at uh, Big Walls, and uh, but we went. You know, I don't think we were ready. quite ready there. But, um, <laughs> but I'm I cannot wait to play that for the first time live in front of a bunch of people. I'm going to be shaking, <laughs> but you know, it will be mostly out of excitement. I remember exactly when I first got the idea for that was when uh, it was really rainy and wet and muddy out in our back garden and my dog Daisy who's this old gorgeous golden retriever she's my little little monster <laughs> um, she went out into the back garden traipsing around like she blooming well does you know being a naughty little moo and then she came in and she was just treading all her paws <laughs> <laughs> all the dirty muddy paws around and I went look at you and your dirty muddy paws and I went where's my guitar where's my guitar I've got to write a song and I ended up writing that song and that was one of the first songs we yeah. recorded and uh, it was one of the last songs I mixed and it was it was the song that just encapsulated the whole scope of the whole process of this whole record um, and it was the one I would I would just had trouble with most in getting that mix, but I think it's because I believed in the song so much, because I think the song said so much about and to me, and I think melodically it was it was you know one of the songs that sort of encapsulated all of everything that I love about music. You know, it yeah, had this yeah. sort of AC/DC feel about it, this mm -hmm. T-Rex feel about it, this Oasis feel about it, this Nirvana, this Ramones feel about it, this Smokey Ri and the Robinsons feel yeah, about yeah. it, uh, Smokey Robinson, the Miracles, sorry. Um, you know, the whole Motown influence that's been a big part of, of, of my love of music. Yeah, yeah. So well, It certainly stood out to me. I mean, oh, it, was cool. a, it was a great so song. I really enjoyed it. I saw it after the gig, you were wearing your Arsenal top. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you reckon we're going to end up end the season then? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard to tell at this point. <laughs> it's so hard to tell because, 
you know, we're, we're coming a cropper with so many injuries, and I think that's down to, you know, not enough squad depth. Yeah, well, same old story. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is. And uh, But, you know, I think we've got some real quality players in there. I just think... Uh, uh, well, I, I think it's going to click. I think maybe just before Christmas, I think, you know, we're going to have a bunch of people back. We're going to have Theo back. We're going to have, hopefully, Giroud back. Um, you know, uh, who else has got... Ramsey, will, he's out for the next month or so. But I think we'll get to a point where all these players will come back and we'll go, wow, look at the players we've got. And it will just it will happen and we'll hit a stride. And I think we'll push and push and push. And But there are teams like Chelsea... And Man City, who are consistently brilliant at the moment, yeah, but, who were unbeatable and quite scary. <laughs> yeah, no, true. What about the football thing for yourself? Um, I do. I'm not nowhere near as knowledgeable as Billy and Josh on this subject. But I do support um, Sheffield Wednesday. Uh -huh. They're a terrible fan. I've not been to a single game this season, but I have been following them. Well, <laughs> obviously, um, but yeah, I'd like Arsenal to win too, because then I'd have a really good year. <laughs> be really, please do be so relaxed. It'd be great. <laughs> See, Josh and I, Josh and I want Chef Wednesday to do so well because we want them in the Premier League. Yeah, we really want to go up against your team. Really funny. So that would Arsenal be good. To <laughs> but listen, thanks a lot both for your time. It's been absolutely brilliant. If um, always ask this at the end, you know, if you had to pick three tracks across, from across your career that would sort of sum up the subways, what three would you choose? Mm. We have to have. Rock and Roll Queen in there, yeah. I think. Because that really yeah. pushed us. That got us over to America. That got us over to Japan and Australia Quite and awesome. Russia and all over Europe. And, you know, that's made that's made our last ton, 10 years so absolutely magical. So I definitely have to have that in there. And every time we play it, it's just bonkers. Like, <laughs> something crazy always happens. What would you pick? Um, I'm thinking... I think we don't need money to have a good time cool. because that did quite a lot for us in Germany, which has kind of become our second home now. Ah. Yeah, but I think kein Geld um, so yeah, feiern. Yeah, there is a German <laughs> version of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Um, and uh, my belly's rumbling. <laughs> um, I'd say Mary. Mary's been like this. This strange thing for us because it's bit. It's it was never a single, and. Uh, and I, I think it was it's one of those tracks that I'm probably most proud of and uh, holds a really special place in my heart. And uh, everyone, everywhere we go, they always request it yeah, in yeah, any yeah. country. And every time you play it, people just light up and, and sing along. And uh, yeah, it's been that sort of sleeper thing for us, hasn't it? Throughout the career, it's always been that. And it's always been a song that we can rely on to play live. And, and yeah, hopefully, you know, a lot of fans got happy memories absolutely that, definitely so. well thanks a lot anything else you'd like to say to some music news watchers well you know thank you music news watchers for you know being so supportive and thank you to music news who have been supportive from day one and been so absolutely amazing and uh yeah keep rocking we'll see you guys again soon thank you great stuff thanks a lot thank cheers you. thank you so Pleasure. much it's thanks. so good to see you again dude great Bless fantastic you so much for this.